Well, let's let's get to that question of Pollyanna here for a second, because mm-hmm. I, I personally know uh, a few people, more than a few probably, who, who would say that this positivity stuff is, you know, a load of touchy-feely nonsense. Yeah. Uh, why, are, why are they wrong? Oh, they're so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wait, I wait for the day when, when it becomes so commonplace. So here's why they're wrong, is the touchy-feely, so let's, let's kind of back up for a minute. Like human beings are effectively three operating systems right? That have interplay with each other, just like a suite of software. So we have our cognitive operating system, we have our emotional operating system, and we have our physical operating system. And those three things work together. We already know they work together, right? Because we know that what we think has an impact on how we feel and how we feel impacts our behavior. Mm -hmm. Like we've known that for a while because the marketing discipline is based around helping people feel so that they take action. What we haven't really thought about is, you know, if you think about it, like the proverbial three-legged stool, we have really well-developed norms and practices and infrastructure to support the development of the cognitive system, right? That's our educational system. Even going all the way through to continuing education and ongoing, right? We have really well-developed norms and infrastructure for developing the physical system. We know how to keep it healthy. We know what the best practices are. We even have places where you can go to get the exercise if you're not getting them in the daily course of your life. But the third leg of the stool, the emotional leg of the stool, which also has tons of intelligence, is totally not developed past grade school. We make the gigantic assumption that people are developing that on their own but we have not been. It's very immature relative to the two other legs, which is why we get a lot of reactive leadership. It's like a wobbly stool, right? So all we have to do is think about what happens when you think about the three systems. If you are physically injured or ill, what do you notice changes in your thinking, Bill? What would you say? If you're physically injured or ill or even jet lagged, what changes um, your thinking? Yeah, I'm 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 run down. I'm tired, which means I'm not sharp. I'm I'm probably not, uh, probably not happy. Um, uh, and that that mood and and that type of feeling is going to impact. I think the work that I do. That I think that that's probably the first thing that I would notice. Well, and actually, what you just described is impacts in both the cognitive and the emotional right? Mm -hmm. I'm not happy. I'm lacking in motivation. My thinking is not sharp, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just with the physical leg, like if you're injured or jet lagged or sick. So then the other way you can go is think about if you're, if the emotional leg of, of the stool gets hit, right? You learn some sad news. You have a fight with somebody you love or a disagreement. You know, what changes about your physical energy and your thinking? So this is a very easy way to, sh- to demonstrate in our known experience how these three things work together. And the fact that we are just not very aware of our emotions, what people call touchy-feely, means that we are basically have um, built in a consequence to our operating system. It's like having old software, right? We've got this one system that hasn't been updated, so it changes the whole human being. Mm -hmm. And so when that emotional system isn't evolved, people don't know what they're feeling. They don't know how to describe it accurately. They might not even be aware they are feeling it, but meanwhile, it's driving behavior and decision-making. 